Today it marks the first anniversary of the inauguration of Podda Bridge. Podda Bridge has brought a revolutionary change in the communication system. Due to the impact of Podda Bridge, economic activities have increased in 21 districts of the southern region. Situation has been changed dramatically. Advanced medical care with fast communication facilities is also at the doorstep of the people of southern region. The inauguration of the rail link on the Podda Bridge will mark another milestone in the communication system. Say experts, however, even after a year of opening the doors of Podda Bridge, experts feel that some work is still left. Experts believe that there is more work to be done, including industrialization on around the Podda Bridge. Road Transport and Bridges Minister Obaidul Qadir has said election will be held according to the rules of the constitution. He also said government has no intention of excluding anyone. A press conference was organized at Shetu Bhabun on the occasion of one year anniversary of inauguration of Padda Bridge. Road Transport and Bridges Minister Obaidul Qadir said the total cost of construction of this bridge is 32,605 crore taka. 56 lakh 75,000 vehicles have crossed till yesterday. 798 crore 23 lakh 96,000 taka toll has been collected till yesterday. 632 crore 94 lakh have been repaid in four installments. Obadul Qadir said, Podda Bridge is not the asset of any party but the asset of the nation. After the inauguration of Padda Bridge, the people of Shoryatpur have started getting the benefits of its communication system. Now they can reach Dhaka in just two hours instead of six, seven hours. The patient death rate has also been decreased due to the rapid improvement of medical treatment. However, despite the benefits of the bridge, the 27 km road has become a cause of suffering for the locals. The construction of about the 27 km road from the bridge connecting road to Shadarupajala of Shoryatpur has not been completed even in a year. When con contacted, the engineer of the road and highway department expressed his dis displeasure. Locals hope that concerned authorities will take necessary steps to complete the construction work of this road as soon as possible and the public suffering will be reduced accordingly. The International Criminal Tribunal has sentenced four people including Amjad Hussain Mullah of Joshua to death in the case of crimes against humanity in 1971. Three member bench of headed by Tribunal Chairman Justice Muhammad Shahinur Islam announced the verdict. This is the 52nd second judgment of this tribunal. Justice A.K. Hafizul Alam read out the first part of the 169 page judgment in this morning. The second part was read by Justice Abu Ahmed Zamadar, Chairman of the Tribunal, Shahinur Islam, read the main part. The court also commented that the defendants are enemies of humanity. The Dhaka court has postponed the verdict in a money laundering case against SM Golam Kibriya Shamim, a controversial contractor for government projects and seven others. The court wants to hear Another round of arguments if the defendants agree, Rabiul Alam, a court official said on Sunday. A new date for the verdict is likely to be announced later in the afternoon. The accused are Muhammad Delwar Hussain, Muhammad Murad Hussain, Muhammad Zahidul Islam, Muhammad Shohidul Islam, Muhammad Kamal Hussain, Muhammad Samsad Hussain, and Muhammad Anisul Islam, GK Shamim, who was known as an influential contractor of Shobujbag, Bashabo, and Motijil areas for the capital was arrested on September 20, 2019. Visiting UN Under Secretary Catherine Pollard has underscored the need to increase the participation of women in peacekeeping missions, enhancing security in host countries and maintaining zero tolerance against sexual violence and exploitation. In the morning, the two undersecretaries of the United Nations participated in the program at Hotel Intercontinental in Dhaka. The main theme of this meeting is the participation of women in UN peacekeeping missions, equal opportunities for women, skill development and prevention of sexual harassment emerged as recommendations from this meeting.
creating enabling environments for gender equality and working in partnership to strengthen accountability for conduct and discipline in peacekeeping operations are essential to achieve our goals for women in peace operations. The importance of conduct and discipline and providing a solid foundation to build on initiatives in priority areas. Homebound people are leaving the capital by train without scheduled disruption or any major suffering. Even on the second day of each journey, common people are traveling by train from Kamalapur to all over the country. Most of the trains are leaving at the scheduled time since morning. But there are two expectations. There are also trains that leave an hour later. Passengers said they have not faced any problem so far. Leaving the train on time is the most comfortable. As it is approaching, the cattle markets of Gaibandha Kushtia and Borguna gets momentum. Buyers complained for asking high price and the sellers said the increased rate of cattle foods affected the price. Meanwhile, the police are active in preventing robbery extortion and fake money transactions in cattle markets. Gaibandha cattle market is now bustling with buyers. Thousands of cows are being bought in trucks from Savino Pujilas and surrounding districts. The Livestock Department is working on animal health checks at 26 permanent and 15 temporary cattle markets in Gaibandha. Meanwhile, along with the locals, traders from the surrounding districts are flocking to buy animals at the Kushtia cattle market. The cattle market also accumulated in Borguna. However, in 127 markets of six Upojilas, cattle are being sold at a higher price than in previous years. First unit of the country's biggest Pyra 1320 megawatt thermal power plant at Kolapara Upuzela in Potuakhali has resumed its operation since early Sunday. A ship carrying 41,327 metric tons of coal arrived at Pyra port on Thursday. It took two days to unload the coal. After unloading the coal, the power plant returned to its production. Meanwhile, the second unit will restart production on July 2nd said the authorities. The country's largest thermal power plant, Pyra, completely shut down on June 5 due to coal shortage. Four more coal-carrying ships will arrive at Pyra in the first week of July. The Islamist groups are not able to join the 14 party alliance due to the obstruction of the leftists. As an alternative, the two sides are discussing the formation of an electoral alliance. If there is an agreement on seat sharing, the final announcement of the formation of the coalition may come. A few Islamic parties want to join the 14 parties led by Awami League ahead of the 12th national parliament elections. However, a policy decision has been taken not to include any other party in the alliance. However, 14 teams did not disappoint the interested parties at all. Instead of inclusion in the alliance, the proposal to form an alliance during election has been made. The interested parties agreed to form such alliance by accepting 14 parties' proposal. The year has been passed of the inauguration of Podda Bridge. The situation of the modern luxury launch owners in the Borishal Dhaka naval route has not been improved commercially yet. In these circumstances, various initiatives are being taken to reduce the losses. In this regard, the businessmen have sought the government's support to sustain this industry. Before the opening of Podda Bridge, 13 to 14 launches used to commute on the Burishal Dhaka route per day. The cabins and decks of every launch were full of passengers. However, the picture has changed to prevent loss due to decrease of passengers to launches are running from both ends by rotating system per day. However, even then, most of the cabins are kept empty to attract modern facilities are being added considering the needs of the passengers. On the other hand, cargo transportation is now the main source of income for launches plying this route due to passenger shortage. Authorities have taken various initiatives to avoid traffic jams on the Bongobuntu Bridge West Link Highway during this year's Idulaza journey. A flyover, several underpasses and overpasses are being opened before Eid. Work is underway to upgrade two sections of the highway to four lanes, which has been completed and vehicle movement has started on that stretch. 
As a result, the authorities hope that the ETH journey to North Bengal will be eased. During normal times, 12 to 14,000 vehicles ply daily through the Western Link Highway of Bongobundu Bridge, the gateway to North Bengal. This number gets tripled when ETH comes. It creates a huge tailback. A number of initiatives have been taken to elevate the suffering. 72% of the work of upgrading the 19-kilometer road from Golchotto to Hati Kumrul on the Western Ring Road of Bongobundu Beach to four lanes has been completed. And 63% of Hati Kumrul to Chandai Kona Road work has been completed. Brokers are recruiting interested people from village of Norshingdi with the lure of high paying jobs in Italy. Taka 8 to 10 lakhs are being sent to Libya from each person. From there, they are being transferred to small boats to go to Italy. Many are buried on the way. Ten people from Raipura and Belabar went missing in the Mediterranean Sea recently. One of them has been reported dead. The family members are saddened by the news of the recovery of the body of one of the missing persons named Abdul Nobi. They accuse the brokers for the death. The victims say that Alomia of Bela Popozela from Libya and Kamal Hossein from Italy are the owners of the human trafficking ring. Through associates in Norshingde, they attract interested parties with the lure of high paying jobs in Italy. Police said that efforts are underway to arrest those culprits.